Okay, so now um, if I look here in my NAD27 and open the attribute table, I'll see here that I have my uh, X and Y offset, uh, X and Y centers for the NAD83 and X and Y centers for the NAD27. And you can see here that the different there's a difference between the two. And in order to calculate this difference, we're just going to use subtraction. But uh, in decimal degrees, it would be kind of uh, too, too weird of a number, so we're going to do a subtraction and a conversion into from degrees into seconds. So the way we're going to do that is by going and, of course, using options and add our field. And then here we'll choose double. And then we're going to put into it uh, the title of our, our field. And I'm just going to call it uh, shift. So now I have my new field called shift. And if I go and, of course, expand out my attribute table, I'll see here that they all have zero. And in order to populate that, we're going to be using our field calculator. But, um, oh, well, one thing that I, that I, didn't do right is that I should actually make two of them so I'm gonna just change the name here this is how you change names you just go in here and put alias now I'm gonna put here shift I'm gonna call this X shift okay and then I'm gonna do options and I'm gonna add another field and I'm gonna call this one Y shift and the idea here is that we're going to we're going to uh, calculate the shifts between the X's and the Y's because the latitude and the longitude shifts are going to be uh, different in each place. So went ahead and added that field and we can see here X shift and Y shift. And if I want to get rid of that little underline, I can just hit into properties and change the alias here into Y shift with that, you know, with the space. So to do the, sh the calculation of the difference, I'm going to use my field calculator by going into the field calculator by right-clicking on the f on the field name, and uh, don't worry about the warning message. And then here, what I want to do is subtract the two numbers from each other. So I'm just going to put them in parentheses. And if I go here, I can choose it from the field names. So I want to subtract x83. So I want to subtract the difference between them, so I'm going to choose the x nat 83 and I'm going to subtract it from the x nat 27 and then from that to do the conversion into seconds, since these are in degrees, the seconds are going to end up being 60 times 60, so I'm just going to multiply this by 3600 and OK and then that calculation is going to go through. And again, remember that you're dealing with a large calculation set, so if you see something saying not responding or just seems like it's not working, just give it a minute. Um, it's having to go through a lot of records to, in your calculation. It's going to take some time to go through. Okay, so now the uh, Y, oh, the X has been calculated. So now we're going to do the Y. And the way we're going to do that is by, again, clicking on the Y column, right-clicking, field calculator, and we're just going to end up using pretty much the same uh, equation. The only difference is that this time, instead of the X, we want to use the Y. And what I'm doing is here is just manually typing in Y, but uh, of course you can just highlight and then go here and, and click to get those fields, but that... Uh, statement is correct now. I can just hit OK and the calculation is going to take place. And again, this is probably going to take about 15 minutes to go all the way through, even though this progress bar goes all the way and this whole thing will close. You still got to give your your uh, your arc map a few more minutes to, to populate this field because of the number of records. So you can see here it says not responding, but that's OK. Just keep being patient. So now it's populated in. So now we've done that. We've calculated the shifts in seconds. So you can see here that this is uh, 0.2593 seconds of shifts on X and 0 0.045583 
of seconds shift on Y between the two different uh, datums as displayed in NAD27.